hey everybody, it's the South Canadian Gamer. I was sending a message to a friend, so I didn't talk for like 20 minutes, 20 seconds. Um, <clears throat> this is Sonic 3 Complete on the actual Sega Genesis. How fun is that, right? Uh, I actually bought a physical cartridge, so everything that's your, that you're seeing here is all official. I will show you my uh, options here, so... Gameplay options, we're doing the prototype order, so we're, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing Flying Battery before, uh, we start playing, um, we start Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, we'll do the original difficulty, but we'll do the recommended layouts, uh, casual gameplay is off because that basically determines whether you have infinite lives or not. Uh, Super Controls. We're going to have, uh, under the original, we're going to have super cancel off. No, we're going to have original control. Um, we're going to have max control. No, we're not. We're going to have it uh, as Sonic 3, because if we have it under max control, we can't do Tails Assist. Tails Assist is on, and you can, and we're going to do it the way you were supposed to do it in Sonic 1 2013. I was going to do it under max control to show off the super peel out, but uh, then I can't do Tails Assist. It's really hard to do it that way. So we're going to do it the way you could do it in Sonic 1 2013. Uh, music options, uh, we're going to have uh, Carnival Night, Ice Cap, and Launch Base be their original uh, com compositions. Admittedly, I do like the Sonic and Knuckles collection version of Carnival Night and Launch Base, but uh, we're going to have them in their original form. Uh, we're going to do the Sonic 3 Complete Medley, and the Super Theme will just be Fast Zone music. Um, the event music, uh, the main themes are going to be from Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, game over will be from Sonic 3. Continue will be from Sonic 3 uh, alone. Sonic 3 credits will be from the original. Mini boss will be from Sonic 3 though, and Knuckles will be the Sonic 3 version. Um, and then everything will be its original thing. Uh, the yeah, everything will be that way. Uh, I'm playing this on the original Genesis. If I ever screw up, it's probably because I'm trying to get my C button to work. My C button is jammed right now, so it won't press in all the way. Like, I can press it, but it won't register, and I don't know why. But, uh... Yep, we're going to be playing Sonic 3 Complete, but on the Genesis, because I own the actual copy. So... I have practiced this. I have gone all the way through the game just to play it because i can we're gonna be doing a sonic alone file yeah and what's super cool is you can skip this cutscene, but i'm not going to because why would i um now fun fact uh right where knuckles is standing i think or maybe i can't remember i think it it's somewhere in this area is, the, is where the Phantom Ruby is in Mania. Um, but uh, poor Knuckles, he has to be dragged into this yet again. Uh, so yeah, you have your uh, you have your soup your, your super peel out. You have your Insta Shield and whatnot and all your gubbins. And here are the special stages. Remember these? If you've played Mania, you should know. Uh, except these are the um, these are the real ones, and I'm gonna try to get a perfect on all of them because I'm fucking cool. Yeah, so yeah, my C button's a little bit jammed, so I will primarily be using the A and B buttons for this. Probably not even. Um, I 
Actually, fuck it. No, I won't be getting a perfect on all of them. I will show, however, how to get a perfect. But I will not be getting a perfect on all of these special stages. Because I want to get all the Chaos Emeralds and Super Emeralds. And if I wanted to get a perfect on all the Super Emerald stages, that would be kind of difficult. Considering that Flying Battery is... Um, Shit. Yeah, Flying Battery is uh, part of Sonic 3 now. So there's no way I can get uh, a perfect in the Knuckles special stages without at least not getting the, the best ending, which I want to do. So I will. Uh, I don't normally fail that first special stage, but you know what? There are plenty of opportunities to... Uh, to get all the Chaos Emeralds in in Sonic 3 complete if you have Flying Battery after Carnival Night. Um, yeah, so basically in Sonic 3, uh, Dr. Robotnik crash lands on Angel Island after... Uh, after um, after Sonic 2 because uh, he he ends up crash landing the death egg onto lava reef no he crash lands the death egg into uh, where launch base is located. And after he lands, uh, he meets Knuckles, who freaks the fuck out. And um, he, and uh, Eggman is like, oh, Knuckles, you don't have to fight me. Uh, and he talks about the Chaos Emeralds to Knuckles, and Knuckles is like, what are the Chaos Emeralds? And, uh, considering the bonus stages are in this game, uh, Knuckles, uh, expl Eggman's explanation to Knuckles is like, some something around the lines of, there are these mystical gems or whatever, and they're, they belong to your family lineage, and he has them. And, uh, so Knuckles punches the fucking shit out of you and knocks the Chaos Emeralds out of you. Something that nobody in the Sonic canon has ever done. Maybe Infinite will do it at some point, but I, I don't know. Um. But, uh, yeah. So what ends up happening is, uh, your goal is to get to... You have to stop Eggman from... Rebuilding the Death Egg and destroying the world with the Master Emerald, and I don't know why the why Angel Island is in the ocean in this game, it, uh, in Sonic's portion, because and this is true, the the Master Emerald hasn't moved like at all when you get there, so. I, th I think the only reason I can assume that the uh, that Angel Island is like on in in the ocean is if Knuckles is moving it, but he shouldn't be. Actually, that is a, that is a valid. I, I that is valid. Perhaps uh, Knuckles. Had it in Angel Island like he did before, uh, and then he um, and then he moves it to Hidden Palace Zone uh, in the in the uh, in the process of this game. So I that actually yeah that's entirely valid. I'm gonna go with that because I don't know why. Uh, we're gonna go back because the special stage ring. In act, the first one in Act 2 is right the fuck there. And I'm not doing a good job in getting it.
so I'm continuing to go. There we are. So, a uh, cool thing about this game, as compared to the original, and I would have played the original too, but I didn't have to, so I won't. Uh, in the original version of Sonic 3, um, there are weird sprite glitches where Super Sonic doesn't have a specific sprite, and he just turns back into regular Sonic, and that's present in Mania 2. Uh, but in Sonic 3 Complete, they added extra sprites where Super Sonic didn't have any, like the pushing sprite, the barrel sprite, and the falling sprite. Uh, I think those are the first few. Um, I'm sure there are a few others, and I'm sure if I go to Sonic 3 Complete's website, I will definitely find those sprites. Uh, but uh, in, in this game, they also made it so that after getting out of a special stage... Uh, in Sonic 3, it doesn't play the act to, or in in uh, in Angel Island Zone. If you get out of a special stage or a bonus stage in Angel Island Zone Act 1, it doesn't play Act 2 if it's on fire, which is super awesome. Uh, it allows you to customize your own music too, so there's that. It adds little icons where there weren't any um, before. So like, there's a palm tree for Angel Island Zone, but now there's a water drop for Hydro City, and like, an orb for Death Egg, and um, like, scaffolding for Launch Base, and like, a snowflake for Ice Cat, like basically a balloon for uh, Carnival Night. S stuff where there wasn't any, basically. Uh, and I would love to, uh, I would love to go into it, but you'll see it as, as I play. Uh, and I will explain it in my review at some point. So, uh, you know, I'm explaining this now, but you'll you'll eventually see the rest of it. Uh, odds are I'll use this footage uh, for my review. Whereas I'll play... Um, actually, no, I probably won't. Well... I suppose I'll have like background music and stuff so I can just mute this footage and then um, do stuff with it later. But yeah, odds are I'll probably use this footage for my review as well, um, which will be cool. So a fun fact, uh, all of these special stages in Sonic 3 and Knuckles are in Sonic 3 Complete. So that's cool. But also, uh, you can play... God damn it, fucking controller. Um, these Genesis controllers do not age well. In fact, the D-pad is really wiggly. So um, I may fail special stages a lot more. Well, that and I'm talking, but point is I will end up getting all these special stages by the end of the game so you don't have to worry you're fine nothing is nothing bad's gonna happen um, but uh, in Sonic Mania all of the special stages from three and knuckles are present including the uh, the eighth special stages from both three and and um, three and knuckles because there was an eighth special stage in three and in Sonic and Knuckles and the only way you were able to play it the only way you were able to play uh, those special stages was uh, by uh, by like hacking the game or by uh, using level select which is cool, but uh, there are there the now you can play the eighth special stage from three and from Sonic and Knuckles just as a bonus stage. And good lord, 
the last special stage from Sonic and Knuckles is fucking hard. Like, it is god fucking hard. It is, it is hard. Yeah, so I have a total of two Chaos Emeralds. That's more than I got in Sonic 2. That says a lot. And, uh, I go, okay, so the total, the, the most amount of gemstones that I've gotten in this marathon is five. I got five time stones, not chaos emeralds, time stones. And even then I got the good ending. So, in other words, I have gotten the good ending in one game. I, okay, I got three Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 1, one Chaos Emerald in Sonic 2, and so far I've gotten two Chaos Emeralds in this game, and I got five Time Stones in Sonic CD.